This is Ralph Irvin in the clubhouse at Jackie Robinson Stadium after UCLA's 5-2 win over Oregon State on Sunday. And I'm here with UCLA head coach John Savage. And coach, good to pull out a win after uh, the way games one and two had gone this weekend. No question. I mean, two really tough, tight games on, on Friday and Saturday, two nothing game and the five, seven to five game. And, and we salvaged it, you know, which we needed to do in this league. You can't, you can't get your head down or else you can get swept in a hurry and down two games and the guys answered back and Plutko did his thing again on Sunday and so it was a big win in the big picture. And a lot of timely hitting which is what you need to win in the Pac-10. No doubt. I mean you can get hits. Uh, they had 14 hits and left 12 guys on base and uh, we, we left 10 guys on base so but we did have some timely hitting and, and we got enough across to, to win the game and Vandertake came out and did a nice job got a big double play in the eighth and, and, then, and then a quiet ninth which was nice. When you look at the pitching line for the weekend, it's like, wow, the pitchers did a great job, and yet you go one and two. How tough is that to factor that yeah. in and break it down in your brain? Well, you got to make sure you're looking at the right things. I mean, you're looking at quality at bats. You're looking at uh, guys throwing strikes with their secondary pitches with their fastball. Are they pitching out of problems? Are they walking guys? Are they, you know, I mean, it's, it's okay to give up ground ball base hits. I mean, it's the nature of the game. I mean, you got to make sure, hey, is it hard contact? Is it soft contact? I mean, there's a lot of things you got to evaluate after a three game series, and that's, that's what we're going to do. But uh, like I said, in this league, uh, if you have your head down after Saturday and, and after two losses, uh, you, could, you could find yourself uh, toward, you know, the wrong end of the standing. So it was a big win for us, and we're not happy of the outcome of the whole entire weekend. Uh, but, but I think uh, you'd have to say uh, losing the first two in salvage the series, uh, you know, you would take it at this, at this stage. Got off to a fast start Friday, then troublesome fifth inning, and really it continued for, I mean, you'd call it about a 15-inning stretch where the team just wasn't quite right, yeah. and then you were able to turn it around to get the win today. So, yeah. so you know you're on the right track heading into Tuesday. Yeah, I mean, I think so as well. I mean, Osich and Bauer put on a show on, on Saturday. I mean, it's as good as college pitching as you're going to see in the country, a left-hander and a right-hander and draft-eligible guys. and. You know, that was special, I think, for all the fans. But we came up on the short end of it. And, you know, the first couple innings today, we got handled again. And uh, But we did, you know, we battled out of it. And we hit a couple mistakes. And Regis is uh, a big two-strike hit. And Joe Vinazzo's two-strike hit. So we did enough. And that's that, that's the bottom line. And then uh, Pepperdine on Tuesday out in Malibu. How ready is this team to bounce back uh, for another uh, out-of-conference game? Well, we need to. I mean, all, it's RPI stuff. And... You talk about wins, and you know they, that's why the Irvine win was such a big win on Tuesday, and the win against San Diego State, the win before that. So they all count when you play 56. They all count, and and uh, you know we look we look forward to the challenge of playing out there at uh, Pepperdine. All right, Coach. Congratulations again on the win. We'll uh, see you on Tuesday. Thanks, Ralph. Appreciate it. That's UCLA head coach John Savage. Once again, the Bruins back in action on Tuesday as they travel to Malibu to take on Pepperdine. Of course, the best news and notes on UCLA baseball. Get it all right here at UCLABruins.com.